All right, number two, <clears throat> we're going to be doing the same thing, finding the degree and uh, listing where it flattens out and the number of zeros. So um, the degree, again, we're going to count the number of variables we have since we have to multiply them. This one has one. This one has five. So one plus five, these exponents I'm looking at, one and five, will give us six when we add those together. The y-intercept comes from multiplying uh, the numbers together and we have to write it as an ordered pair. X is always zero. So the first number we have in the first parentheses is one. And we have to multiply that times negative three to the fifth. So we have to do negative three times itself five times. Okay. So you might not have that one memorize that's a pretty big number so uh, we'll just do it with the calculator so I'm gonna do negative 3 and I'm gonna raise it to the fifth alright better to put this in parentheses because if it's even the sign should be positive but if you don't put it in parentheses uh, it will still come out negative but in this case since it's odd it will still be negative so it's okay so we get a uh, negative 243 and we multiply that times 1 is still going to be negative 243 all right so negative 243 is our y-intercept all right um, part 2 which x-intercepts uh, will cross okay so remember odd degrees cross so both of these will cross there's two of them two different numbers and when we solve these uh, this will give me an opposite sign of a negative one this will give me a positive three when you set them equal to zero basically the signs are going to change so um, negative one and positive three will be our x-intercepts so negative one comma zero and then positive three comma zero okay and now it wants to know um, which ones flatten out okay so again the ones that are bigger than one will flatten out so there's only one of them and that was the positive three so there's going to be one of them and um, it's going to be positive three zero as an order pair 